everybody. Uh, I'm here to do a uh, update. Again, a little bit different than my normal updates. Mostly vinyl, but I also picked up some uh, posters, but they're not just like posters. I don't just like band posters. Let me turn this a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, they're the album, uh, you know, the promotional posters for their albums. Um, I got quite a few. I got a bunch of big ones behind me. Uh, Mr. Big is massive. Uh, Michael Schenker, uh, MSG with uh, perfect timing, I think I have back there. And there's two big white snake, just band. They're not promos, they're just band posters, which don't really care about those. Anyway, I don't know if we're gonna get these on the screen, but this one is for Ellie Gunn's debut album. Pretty cool. And these, I got because I'm gonna frame these, because album promotional things are cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, the main one for me was this one, was the Wasp Crimson Idol uh, promo, which is one of my favorite albums of all time. I don't care what you think of it. I know about the drum fills, I know all about that, whatever. Uh, next is Steel Hearts Tangle in the Rain. It's kind of hard to open these up right now, guys, but yeah, it's an album promo. I've got a lynch mob back there as well. I think that's the other one I got. It's kind of a poster. It's not really a promo. Oh, this is a lynch mob. I think it is. Yeah, it's just the like the second album poster. So that I probably just won't. I mean, it's got to have. You know, I want the. You know, the. Uh, oh my God, promotional stuff. See if I can find the. And this, I think it was the White Snake one, which I don't like. Like these kind of posters where it's just like fan posters. I mean, I get it, but it's just not my thing. Especially when they're that fucking big. What is this one? The White Snake? Uh, this is the Mr. Big one, but this one's really big, and this is. Yeah, the first album poster. And that's the biggest one I think is the MSG actually. As I make a fucking miss. And this is an actual um, this one's massive. And this is the actual promo for the album you can see down there, cassette, C D. Pretty cool. I love Michael Schenker group. Uh, this is probably my favorite incarnation of it was with uh, Macaulay because he can sing like a mother. Anyway, let's put these away now and get back to the vinyl. So I picked them up. I thought they were pretty cool and I'm going to frame them and all that good shit. Uh, okay, first we got a couple. A couple of these are from like radio stations. These were promos back then. Uh, this one has the writing on it, but I, I could probably get it off with some rosin off. Uh, lighter fluid takes that stuff off and doesn't damage it, believe it or not. Still has the promo sticker on the album, and it's a, it's a punch. So I don't really know. It's got the, uh, oh, anyway, it's Saxon's Destiny. <laughs> the most important part is showing the album, right? And it's on the shitty plastic enigma thing. And as you can see, the radio label wrote them. Or call letters on the vinyl, which is annoying, but I picked it up because I got it like for four bucks, something like that. So really, really cheap. I think it was, or like eight bucks shipped. Yeah, like four bucks. So uh, I figured I'd pick it up, but I can just replace it down the road. So there's that. Most was everywhere. Next is the one I've been looking for for a while, and this is a uh, Saints. Saint. Was it all oh, times end, right? Yeah, times end. Uh, early, was it early 80s. It, very, very early Judas Priest sounding. Uh, this is also the radio promo, and they wrote on it as well, which is annoying because this would have been awesome if it didn't have that on there. Again, it'll just be a, a playable, and it didn't come in a sleeve, which annoyed me. There, there was something shitty on there. Uh, it still has the inner 
This is a big one of mine. All their stuff is. I mean, I love this band. They they definitely have that, you know, early 80s, late 70s Judas Priest vibe to them. Uh, they are a Christian metal band, so that'll chase a lot of you away. <laughs> All right, next is a uh, reissue. Uh, this thing is expensive. This is actually double this price already because it sold out so fast, and that's a band called uh, Emerald with an album called Arm for Battle. Again, another one in that Judas Priest vibe. This is from the early, early 80s. Actually, they've been around since the 70s. Uh, what is it? 80. I don't remember what it is. Uh, let me check it on. Anyway, it even looks like early Judas Priest, right? Cool one. This is on No Remorse Records. Uh, Rocks grabbed a couple to sell here in the States, and I grabbed one as soon as I saw him post that, which I'm glad I did. Uh, bands had a lot of members early on, and they got a few albums. But this is their first. Uh, I'm thinking this was 84, 82. I can't remember the year of it. Anyway, there's a green vinyl version of this I like to get to, but. Man, they just skyrocket the price. You gotta, that's, that's, you gotta grab this stuff on the shirt and like that. Some don't sell and some just go fast. And it's just on plain black vinyl. It's just one of those albums I would buy the color, every color I could find of. Alright, again, in that Judas Priest mold. And good. It's good. Worth the money. Next is a band called Divine Right, and this is from 1984. Uh, just hair metal, metal. Uh, again, it's one of those bands that their vibe is heavier than they actually look. You know, kind of like that uh, Panther and stuff like that. They're very heavy metal. And uh, this is an EP, a long EP, it's eight songs. It's an album, essentially. Pretty sure it's 83. 84, 85. Still in the shrink, which was cool, but I will take that off. It does have the price on the album, which I, I, I wasn't told about, but I, I can probably get that off. Um, this is on Green World. A little shitty sleeve. Should have, let's have the sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lyric side, main picture side. As you can see, very, it, it looks much more cheesier than it actually is. And again, it's a second tier, early 80s, hard rock, hair metal, heavy metal. Uh, songs like She's a Killer, Aggressor, Animal, Queen of the Nile, Bomb Squad. I mean, it's not like your typical, you know, guitars, girls, drugs, and, and racing cars. It's, it's more on the metal side. A little bubble on that. It's on Green World. Green World was a short-lived label back in the early mid-80s. All right, next is... Oh, All right, here we go. I'm gonna save that one for the last, well, second to last. Next is a band called Dalton and Injection. Again, more hair metal. Uh, so, uh, I push a little more towards AOR-ish. Uh, this is a sticker I'm going to have to get off, which I didn't know about. Um, but I'm going to probably get it off. If not, no big deal. But this is actually a, I'm thinking it's a Belgian press. I can't remember. But there's that. There's the back. Right, again, in that hair metal, hard rock vein, touching on AOR. Uh, there's the band photos and credits, and then the lyric side. This is an excellent shape. This is the writing on the back of that is dark. I can't see it, so I can't tell you what year it is. Pretty sure it's like, I right, look on here, 87, I think. Oh, 89, man, that was later than I thought. There you go. A little dirty, but I'll get cleaned up before I put them in the proper places. Another great band. I actually, I didn't know it was on vinyl. I should have, I didn't think about it. You just see these bands sometimes that you know and you have CDs of, and you, there's so much out there, you just can't remember everything. And then you see it and you're like, oh shit, I want that. I think it was like five bucks. That's a pretty good steal in my opinion. Pretty good deal in my opinion. 
All right, and next. I'm getting close to finishing my Malmsteen vinyl. Uh, and this is his album, Odyssey. Great album, there's Joe's internal room vocals here. Um, it gets a little deep purplish for me sometimes. But Heaven, Tonight, Dreaming is one of my favorite songs by the Malmsteen discography overall. Crystal Ball is a good, some good stuff on here. As you know, it's Malmsteen. You guys know I love him. Well, I love his music. He's a douche. Uh, there's the band side. Again, in excellent condition. And lyric side. This is also, I think, I think, I don't know, is this a U.S. Uh, this one looks like it's a U.S. press. This one might be a U.S. press. I got a couple from Finland or somewhere, and I can't remember. It's a little bit dirty again, guys, but I haven't cleaned them up. I don't clean them up until I have to rush show. I usually just sit there. Great. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I just showed that. This one is definitely a German or Belgian press. Uh, Malmsteen's uh, Eclipse. And these were both five bucks a piece, which is a pretty damn good deal. I paid, I paid 15, I think it was 25 for this one. The other Malmsteen and the Dalt, because I got them from the same seller. That's a pretty damn good deal coming from, I'm pretty sure it was Finland. Uh, again, in excellent condition. There's the lyric side. Wait, it's all lyrics. There's the lyric side. There's the lyric side and credit side with the fan. And this is uh, who's on here? This is the other singer. Oh, he's always had a bunch of singers. Uh, I can't remember his name, but I love this album. This is probably one of my, probably my top three favorite album by him. Uh, Devil Driver, Mother's Devil in Disguise is awesome. The two, uh, well, they had three singles off this. Making Love, Bedroom Eyes is good, and Save Our, Save Our Love is good. But this whole album is fantastic. And I wish it would go back to more of this than just ripping apart the fretboard. Although I do like it, but I like when they have vocals. And, uh, there's the labels. Oh, that's it. Woo! I think it's who this says. I'm pretty sure it was Belgian. Holland. Holland. All right, the last two, well, the one just came out. It's not really a grail because it's the first time pressed. This is kind of a grail. I cannot find a decent, good shape, um, any kind of press in the States for, for, for what I would consider a fair price. Um, so they've repressed this. I forget who did it. Sonic Age, the, the, great, the Greek label. And uh, so I decided to pick that up because I literally got this for like, I think it was like 26 or 27 shipped. And so I had to go for it. And I still need the OG copy of it. And, there, and this is Screamers on Target. Fantastic album, very, very underrated. Uh, if you guys watch Scott Waters' channel, have you seen us on there a lot? He, he likes this album as well. Uh, this is a good band period. They have a couple albums, uh, but this is by far their best. Uh, in that Queen, early Queen Drake vein, uh, and you can never go wrong in my mind when it comes to early Queen Drake and sounding like it was in 1988. Yeah, 88, but it sounds a little bit mid 80s, you know, like 84, 86 era. Uh, really nice press, highly glossed though, which is unusual for those labels. I think I should have. Who's on here now? Kevin Lentz. There's nobody really big on here. Uh, and there is the beautiful sleeve. The vinyl wasn't in the sleeve, which I love. And then all the promo stuff, and then the lyric side, fan side. And I got the purple version which is only 100 press. They do have a black vinyl version as well. But I got the purple one. And this is a good label, Sonic Age. Sonic Age, and I can never say the name of the other. It affiliated with like Ark and Steel or something like that. But long purple vinyl matches the cover kind of. Uh, there's only 100 of the purple press, so if you can find it, grab it while you can. 
So that was a that was a good find. Finally got the album at least. You know, I'm just not going to pay a fuck ton for an older one. And it's generally the shipping that chases me away from it because you know I do buy a lot, but I do look for deals. I mean, I'm patient and I wait and I you always find it some way. Uh, so anyway, I am. Um, I got this in today. This was just released, um, and that's Striper's Rocks Regime, the demos. First time on vinyl. Uh, the, all the demos, and then they have a bunch of like alternative demo, demos. Uh, Robert Street's uh, drum solo here, Tank, Come On Rock, You Won't Be Lonely demo, honestly. I mean, it's just different versions as well on here to make it a full, almost a full album. Now, the thing with this is, not one vinyl is the same. They're all different colors, every one of them. I think there's a thousand pressed. I don't know how that worked, but there's a thousand pressed, and not one is exactly the same, apparently. So, uh, really cheap deal. Uh, guys, don't go anywhere else. If you want this album, go to Striper's uh, site. It is literally uh, 20 bucks plus whatever shipping you decide to use. Um, everywhere else I've seen it has been ridiculously priced as $32 plus shipping. Go to striper.com and buy it there. Don't let them freaking kill you for that stuff. Anyway, I left it sealed so we can see what it is together. I hope it's something cool. I've seen a bunch of different versions. I got the priority ship. I wanted to get here as fast as I could on this one. So I'm going to show that off right now. Uh, we're both going to be surprised. Watch me get like freaking black vinyl. I don't know if there is a black vinyl. Alright, so anyway, let's see what's inside. This is cut and dry, I know that. Ooh, that's like a. I can already see the color, but there's the thing Striper, Rocks Regime demos. Uh, this is what, what Rocks Regime is the name of Striper before they became Striper, in case anybody who's not a Striper fan doesn't know that. All right, mine looks to be on a violet. Yeah, nothing special. It's on a... Oh, it is more. It does have, like, marbling in it. It's on a... That's clear. Clear violet. I'm not sure if it's going to show up on there, but if you look inside of it, it has, like... It has, like, light gray smoke to it as well. Really hard to see on the camera. If you look down low, you can see a dark spot. You can see a little bit of it. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't hate that. I was hoping for one of the, the uh, swirl ones, but I might go back and get a couple more since they're all different. Pretty cool. Um, again, first time on vinyl, so this this was a have to, especially if you're a Striper fan. Striper is a top five band for me. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, uh, I know I, I kind of sped through this. I knew I had a lot to show with the posters, uh, so I didn't spend a lot of time on trying to detail everything this time. Uh, I usually try to give an idea but uh thank you guys for watching thank you for all your responses for my best of uh both videos that I, all my videos that i do you guys are always very there <laughs> and it makes me want to do more videos although sometimes i'm just not in the mood for them but i wasn't going to do the vinyl tag but i think i will now because i think my favorite question of the of, of it is you know uh, is giving shout outs to channels and i will be giving out shout outs but I'm not going to be giving shout outs to everybody. And I know a lot of people having problems with that now because they didn't give a specific shout out to somebody. They're losing subs. Don't do that shit. That's stupid. They're not forgetting. They're not intentionally missing you. You know, when I do it, I'm going to name guys who are, you know, under 200 subs because I think we need to get those guys up with us, you know. Um, so stop being an asshole and unsubbing because your name didn't get mentioned. It's, it's so retarded. Anyway. If you want support, you got to give support. That's how this works. That's what keeps us all going. Um, and, I, and I don't mean by subbing. I mean commenting. And when it comes down to us, most of us don't give a shit about subs. We're not here to make money. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not here to make money. I'm here because of the music. And I enjoy you guys. I enjoy watching your videos. And I talked about this a million times. I'm, going, I'm not going to talk about this right now. i got to save it for the vinyl tag video. I'll add five more minutes on this. I will catch you guys later.